so you can make a judgment on how to send your file and how to uh, send it to your output device. So we have the other screen, which is a general overview screen. In this, we find basically the same information that we found in the result page, only uh, you will find all the things that are right in here as well. So if we go to the images, you will see that we have the same errors here, and uh, it will now state that it is an RGB color, and it will also show me resolution and everything that FlightCheck could find. Basically, this is not even all the information that FlightCheck could find, because if I double click on an image, it will give me all the information that FlightCheck was able to gather from that one particular image. So this will give you all the information that you might need to uh, start preparing the document. So let's go over to some other buttons. Um, for instance, we have the page layout, which is a great tool that will help you to uh, track problems, to locate them and to solve them. You can go through your whole document here and from page to page you will see what the errors are. So if I go to the first page here and I click on an error, uh, let me go to this one, FlightCheck will immediately show me where the problem is located. And from here I can even launch the document so I go straight to the problem page where I can solve the problem. This is a a uh, very great tool that is within FlightCheck that will help you to solve problems as soon as possible. Of course the last one, the collect button, is very important too. As I said, FlightCheck will check for everything, not only images, but it will get the images, it will get fonts within images, it will get images that are linked within images, it will get everything needed to output your file uh, the right way. So in here, we can make sure that everything we need is collected. We can make sure that it is collected at the right location. We can compress the job, which leaves us with a nice zip file on our desktop that, we, that is re ready to send off to uh, the next person in line. And that zip image will contain everything needed for the document, including uh, a collect report and a flight chip report. So if I collect this, it will now gather everything, collect it, put it in a new folder, and zip it right at that same time. This will make sure that you get all the right images and the right fonts. So if you have multiple Helvetica, Helveticas on your computer, it will get that one specific Helvetica that you used in your document. If you got five or 10 or 20 picture ones on your computer, it will grab that one picture one that you need for your document. So if we go to our to the desktop, you will now see that FlightCheck created a zip file that contains everything. In this case, it has a red cross in it because there were still errors in my document, uh, but if your file would be okay, then it would not show that red cross. That red cross is your last uh, check to see if everything went well. From here, let's go to the switch application. As you can see here, I have a very complicated workflow. But rule number one of workflow automation is start simple. So from the website of Artwork Systems, you can download a very simple workflow as well. I will show you the link in a minute. From here, you start very simple. You just create some, uh, some folders, some input folders, some output folders. And from the whole processing line, you can just simply pick up uh, flight, the flight check uh, application and drop it in your layout. Once it's in your layout, you can make all the settings here by the properties. You can select what rule set you want to use and where you want your file to go. So as I said, start very simple and then before you know it, you can make compli more complicated files where you can use uh, several flight checkpoints in your layout or go to the ultimate and start working on a real big workflow. Uh, as I said, you can download several uh, example layouts from the website. So let me show you. Here you go. Uh, from gradual.com uh, you can find uh, a page for uh, the Markstra application, so FlightCheck Professional, how to integrate it and how to get your example workflows. Uh, Switching back to the PowerPoint presentation. 
uh, with some extra information for you uh, on Flights Your Professional. If you want more information on Flights Your Professional, please go to our website at marsway.com slash Flights Your Professional. Uh, on all our other products that I will go through in another manual, uh, please go to marsway.com. And for interesting tutorial movies and other uh, movies that we create at Marksware, please go to our website uh, www.marksware.com or subscribe to the, to the podcast at web.mac.com slash Marksware TV. If you have any questions or remarks uh, about Marksware or one of our products, please contact us through email or by phone and we will get back to you and help, uh, help you with your questions as soon as possible. Well, this is it for me, Arnold Roos, Marksware. Uh, I hope to have shown you that FlightCheck is a really important application that should be on every desktop of people working with uh, digital files. Um, I hope this was useful and I hope to see you in the next movie. Thank you.